Shalom, like give all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash, like give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, salutations to all you sincere Akim. And this lesson is entitled, This is My Comfort and My Affliction. I'm starting with 1 Peter, the fourth chapter, and the twelfth verse. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. And you look up the word beloved, it goes to a person who is greatly or dearly loved. And through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shah, he's speaking through Peter to the elect. So the elect are the ones that Yahweh Bashem Shah greatly loves. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. And that fiery trial is all these different afflictions and distresses that comes upon you in this path of ours. You know, it's going to be all type of things that are happening to you. You'll be like, dang, what is this? You know, it's not going to be compared to things that you went through in the world. Because now you're on a different path through the spirit. There's going to be some strange things happening to you. So we had to gear our minds up and be like, okay, the scriptures say this was going to happen. So that's our comfort right there. And something that's trying you is just is trying your your spirit. You know, it's just seeing what you're going to do. Like, how you going to come out at the end of this? That's pretty much how Bashi Yosha is doing. He's just testing us. Everything that we had to go through in this path of ours is a test. He's trying to see if we're going to pass that test. And Lord willing, the spirit of Yahweh Bashi Yosha be upon us, be, we'll be able to go through it. As though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings. This is where that joint heirs come in. That, that when his glory should be revealed, ye may be glad also with seed and joy. So it had to be in that mindset. Yahweh Shai went through it. And as ambassadors or followers of Yahweh Shai, we had to go through it too. And it was a balance to it. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be a reward for all this stuff we have to go through. All the drama, you know, the distresses, the afflictions we had to go through on this side, it's going to be a balance to it. And that balance is receiving salvation, receiving those new bodies, and inheriting the kingdom of heaven. This is Job, the 23rd chapter, and the 10th verse. But he knew the way that I take. When he had tried me, I should come forth as gold. And like the apostles always get us get up on us about is reading the book of Job because Job represents the each and every elect brother just you know you read through the book of Job you see all the different atrocities he had to go through but at the same time he maintains his integrity and Yahweh Bashan Shai he loves to see stuff like that no matter what you go through you still giving honor and glory and praises to Yahweh Bashan Shai and you still just trusting him through this process so how much more us? You know, we have to do the same thing. That's why we have these scriptures right here. This is our comfort and our affliction. Uh, verse 11. My foot have held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. So he didn't go back. He kept moving forward through the spirit. He had that spiritual tunnel vision that is going to be, you know, it's, it's a way out of this. Through the spirit of you, how about you? He's going to deliver me out of this situation, wherever I'm in. So that's why it says that his foot had held his steps, his way have I kept. His way is kept, it's the ways of you, how about you? Through this word, all right. This is first Peter, the first chapter, I'm gonna start at the sixth verse, wherein ye greatly rejoice. Though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations. And that's what we're going to have to go through in this path of ours. All types of temptations. Like it says in Sirach, the second chapter, My son, if thou, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptations. You know? Verse 7. That the trial of your faith, trial or test, being much more precious than of gold that perish it. Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai. And that trying of your fate, you know, it's just like, you know, that gold. It gets all those impurities out of that gold. And that's what Yahweh Bashan Shai references us to as, you know, that fine gold. It's like gold is not pretty once you find it. 
It has all type of stuff around it. And you have to burn it through the fire and get all those impurities out of it. So that's us. We had to get that old man out of us. That's why we had to go through these trials because it strengthens our spirit and it strengthens our faith in you. How about you? Though it might be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai. And that's the end goal right there. Be able to go through all this stuff we have to go through and we go through it with integrity and with honor and dignity just to be able to get those crowns from Yahweh Shai. You know, that's just, just very glorious right there. And that's a very great honor to receive. All right, this is 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, and the sixth verse. <clears throat> For the Most High, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of the Most High in the face of Yahweh Shai. So this, this light is, under, is uh, referencing to this word, having a true understanding of the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh in the face of Yahweh Shai. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. And this treasure is talking about the true understanding of this word. That the excellency of the power may be of the most high and not of us. So while we have this treasure in these earthen vessels, it's going to be a balance to it. You're going to have to catch hell also in these earthen vessels. And let's get that in Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, in the 18th verse. For in much wisdom is much grief. And that wisdom is talking about the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of you. How about you know, through this word? And he that increases in knowledge, increases sorrow. So the more you know in this truth, the more hell you're going to catch. You know what I'm saying? How about you know, He's a perfect balance, man. You know, it, it's, just, it's just the way he is. The more you know, the more hell you're going to catch. So just back in 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, and the eighth verse. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. So at the end of the day, you might be seen like you're just catching so much hell, there's no way out. But at the end of the day, how about Sean Shai has his hand out, reaching out for you. And he's going to deliver you at the last end. No matter what situation we are in. And we have to believe that. Persecuted but not forsaken. Cast down but not destroyed. See, you might get knocked off that horse, but at the same time, you how about Shah has his hand out. They pick you back up on that horse. I'm gonna jump down to the 16th verse. For which cause we faint not, meaning we grow not weak in this word. But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. That outward man is going back to that old man that you were back in the world. That's supposed to be dead and gone. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And that's that new creature, that new spirit within you now. You know, you have a better outlook on things now compared to the ways in the world. Verse 17, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. So all the type of afflictions and atrocities and distresses and anguishes that come upon us, you how about Sean Shai said this is a light affliction. It's only gonna be for a moment, a short period of time. Work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So all the stuff that we had to catch you on this side is nothing gonna be compared to the kingdom of heaven. Nothing. Verse 18 While we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. So all this stuff we see in this society day by day, all this stuff is going to be washed away. And that's talking about those nuclear missiles and the chairs of Yahweh Bashi on Shah. He's going to destroy this place. That's why I said the, the fashion of this world should pass away. So all this stuff is temporary. But the things which are not seen are eternal. The things that are not seen is talking about the kingdom of heaven. We can't physically see it, but we can see it through of the word of you, how about Sean Shah? We have that spiritual eye that we can see it, you know. All right, this is the book of Psalm, the 119th chapter, in the 49th verse. Zane, remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. And we have a hope 
in this world. Oh, yeah, how about Sharon Shai? That's why Apostle Paul said we are prisoners of hope. We hoping for something better than this, what we going through right now. That's what the word hope pretty much means, expectation. We expecting something way much better than this. Like, this cannot be life right here, the stuff we had to go through on this side, and this captiv captivity of ours. So we are prisoners of hope, and we are hoping for a better place, and that's uh, the kingdom of heaven. Verse 50, this is my comfort and my affliction. So the things that we read through, the you know, the stuff we had to go through, the, the trial of your fate, the afflictions, you know, the hell, the drama, the distresses, the anguishes, the turmoil you had to go through. This is the thing we had to plug back to. And this is our spiritual power for us. How about you on shy through this word? This is my comfort and my affliction. And we have to remember that. For thy word had quickened me. So hopefully they'll be edifying to you, brothers. Like give all under glory again to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakak, Dash, Dabonis again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Akim. Shalom.